We are at the end of 2021 now, and of course, in the world of LEGO, that means there are LEGO sets disappearing off of the shelves for good right now. Typically, the end of the year, December of the calendar year, is a big time for LEGO sets retiring, manufacturing stopping on sets, and sets beginning to rise in value because they're no longer available in retail stores. I'm Shane from Brickbox.net, where we talk about LEGO investing, that is buying LEGO sets and holding them as that value increases. And today, Today, I want to look back at the sets that retired a year ago. It is the perfect time to do this because we're at the end of 2021 now and the sets that retired at the end of 2020 have now had exactly a year to grow in value. Now I want to look back at some of those sets and I want to figure out how much did they grow over the course of just one year? How do they compare against each other? What are some of the sets that have hit insane growth numbers in the space of just one year? And what are some of the ones that performed a little below my expectations? Now before we jump in if you want to know what sets are currently retiring sets that are disappearing off the shelves right now in December 2021 for the last time I have a list of retiring sets in the description below go and download that and you can see what sets may be on their last chance to buy right now and also of course don't forget to hit that like button when you are down there and with that let's jump in now and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at amazon.com to see what prices some of these sets are currently selling for today and we're gonna compare that of of course with the recommended retail price of those sets to figure out what would your profit be and what would your return on investment be if you invested in those sets a year ago when they were retiring and sold them today at the market price on amazon.com now of course we can't look at every lego set that retired in 2020 here in one single youtube video so i've just picked a handful of different themes and sets some of them are ones that i invest in and others are ones that i just see a lot of people talking about in the communities that i know are popular in the world of lego investing so let's jump in now to amazon.com and let's look at our very first set here. And the first set we're going to look at here is, of course, the Downtown Diner. This is the LEGO Creator Expert Downtown Diner. It is the modular building that retired last year. The modular building series are very, very popular with LEGO investors. They typically do very, very well. And usually every year, one of them retires. So they kind of have a very dependable and predictable schedule when it comes to retirement of these modular buildings. And last year in December of 2020, the downtown diner was the modular building that retired and is no longer being manufactured. So of course, price began to rise on this set. So what is the downtown diner currently selling for? I've got the amazon.com listing open right here. And if I just scroll down a bit, firstly, you can notice there's no buy box on this set right now. Uh, that means when there's the big price and option to buy it right here on the listing page. As we can see here on the listing, there's no buy box right now on this set. So I will actually need to click see all buying options right here. And that will give me a list of the sellers that are currently selling this set. Now I see a handful of people selling this set for around $372. So let's take that as our current market price on the downtown diner. So this set is selling for 372 right now on Amazon. So this set is selling for 372 right now on Amazon. Of course, the retail price on this set just a year ago when it was retiring was $170. So quite a climb on the downtown diner right here. And if you bought it at that retail price and sold it today at this price, that would be a profit of around $145 or a return on investment of 86 percent on the downtown diner so an 86 percent return on investment after just a year of holding the lego creator expert downtown diner not bad now let's move on to another set here and in the creator expert winter village sub theme we have the fire station so this is the winter village set that retired last year of course this year we have the gingerbread house that is retiring and last year in 2020 we had the winter village fire station 10263 that retired right here on amazon.com we can immediately see there is a buy box on this set it is selling for $189.95 of course this set had a retail price of $100 so it has almost doubled in price over the course of that year now if you paid that retail price of $100 for it and then you sold it today for $190 on Amazon after you've paid your fees you'd make approximately $62 in profit and that of course will be a 62% return on investment on that $100 initial investment in the Winter Village Fire Station let's move on now to another set from 2020 and if I move into Lego architecture 
and look at the Shanghai set. So this is Lego Architecture Shanghai 21039 that retired at the end of 2020. And right here on Amazon, we see that currently it is selling for $117.90. Now this set was a $60 retail. So again, of course, it has very nearly doubled in price here on Amazon. And if you bought it for 60 and you sold it today for $117.90, after you've paid your fees, you would make a profit of around $40, which would be a return on investment of $67 percent on Shanghai. And what about the other major Lego Architecture Skyline set that retired in 2020? Of course, it was Las Vegas. We had Lego Architecture Las Vegas 21047 retire at the end of 2020. And this one, of course, right now we can see on Amazon does have a buy box selling for $90.69. Now, if you sold it for that price and you bought it for the retail price of 40, then you'll be making a profit of $37, almost doubling your money with a return on investment of 93% within just a year of holding the Lego Architecture Las Vegas. Moving on now to the next set in our list, we look at Lego Ideas here for the first time. Lego Ideas 21316, of course, this is the Flintstones. How is this set performing? The current price on this on Amazon is $91.49. Now this set retail for $60, so not quite performing as well as the architecture sets and the creator expert sets that we just looked at. If you bought this one at $60 and sold it today for $91.49, then that would be a profit of $18 after you paid your fees or a return on investment of around 30%. But what about another Lego idea set that retired in 2020? We of course had the Steamboat Willie, the Disney Steamboat Willie set 21317 with 751 pieces retired at the end of 2020. How did this set perform? Right now on Amazon, we see it's selling for around $157.94 sense which of course is substantially higher than the Flintstone set but of course this set had a higher retail price this set actually retailed for $90 so if you paid 90 for it and sold it today for 157.94 then you would have a profit of approximately $44 after fees or a return on investment of 49% after the year of holding the steamboat willy moving on to another theme now and let's look at Ninjago. So this is Lego Ninjago, the Legacy Series, and this is Jay's Stormfighter 70668. What is this set currently selling for? There is no buy box right now on the Amazon listing, so I need to click to see all buying options. And we can see some selling for around $84.50 on this one. So let's take that, of course, as our price on this set. And this one had a retail price on the shelves of around $40. So it has more than doubled in price over the course of a year. And if you bought it for $40 and you sold it today for $84.50 on Amazon, you would have a profit after fees of around $32 or a return on investment of 80%. Really, really good going here on the Ninjago Jade Stormfighter. What about another Ninjago set? Do they all perform as well as this one? So we have the Ninjago Legacy Monastery of Spinjitzu 70670. There is a buy box here selling for 183 and four cents. Now this set retail for $80, so this is quite crazy what this set has done in the course of one year, from $80 up to 183. If you were the seller in that transaction, you bought it for retail and sold at this price, you would have a profit of $76, very nearly doubling your money for a return on investment of 94% on this set. So of course, Ninjago are performing quite well from 2020. There are a lot of other Ninjago sets that retired in 2020. I'm just taking two examples here. Some of the others may not have performed as well as these two. So make sure you do your research and due diligence before making any decisions based on this information. Moving on now, we have the Lego Star Wars sets, right? So we have Star Wars Slave 1 20th anniversary. Of course, there was some controversy about this set this year, which led to the price rising a little bit quicker when the Slave 1 was officially renamed by Disney to Boba Fett's Starship. And uh, this set quickly had a lot of demand because it was one of the last Lego sets that had the original Slave 1 name on the set. So let's look at this set. What is it currently selling for? There are actually two different listings here on Amazon for this. There's frustration free packaging and there is standard packaging. I'm actually gonna choose the standard packaging version because that is the more common way people will be selling it here. And the current price on that one is $245.84 right now. Now this was a $120 retail price when it was still on the shelves just over a year ago. So if you bought it for 120 and sold it today for $245.84, you would have a profit after fees of $89 on this one 
or a return on investment of 74%. So some great performance, of course, on The Slave One, and with a brand new Book of Boba Fett TV show as well, I do expect this one to climb even further. What else do we have in the Star Wars theme that retired in 2020? Of course, we have the Tantive Four, another popular set for LEGO investors. This is 75 244 retired at the end of 2020 and this set right now on Amazon of course is selling for $294.95 at retail this set was a $200 set so it hasn't even come close to doubling in price yet. If you bought it for 200 and sold it today for 295, you would have a profit of around $51. Of course, it's not that bad, but that's a return on investment of 25%. Still crushing the stock market, but the lowest that we've seen so far on this list of Lego sets. Moving on to a new theme now, and let's look at Jurassic World. So in Jurassic World, we had the T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle Set retiring at the end of 2020. Very, very popular with LEGO investors. This is 75938. Amazing looking set. And this one is selling for 190 right now on Amazon. It retailed for $90, so more than doubled in price over the course of one year. And if you bought it for the retail price and sold it today for 190, then after fees, you would make a profit of $71 or a return on investment of around $79 percent on this one. So what else did we have in the Jurassic World theme that retired at the end of 2020? We of course had this one right here. This is the Dilophosaurus on the loose 75934 with 168 pieces and this one right now is selling for $46.40 on Amazon at the buy box. This was a $20 retail price so of course more than doubled in price over the course of that year. And if you bought this one at retail and sold it today for $46.40 you would be making a profit of around $19, very nearly doubling your money, and that is a return on investment of 97% for the Dilophosaurus on the loose from 2020. Let's take a few more now. If we move into the next theme, of course, we see the Lego Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Hungarian Horntail Tri-Wizard Challenge 75946. Now this is another good one. This one is currently selling for 6466. It retailed for $30. So it has more than doubled in price over the course of a year. And if you bought it for 30 and sold it today at this price on Amazon, you'd be making a profit after fees of around $25 or a return on investment of 83% on this set. Now of course there were a handful of other Lego Harry Potter sets that retired at the end of 2020. Let's take another example here and if I pull up the Lego Harry Potter Quidditch match exclusive to Target in the US. So this one was actually a little bit undersupplied in the aftermarket which led to it growing very very quickly. This is set number 75956 currently selling on Amazon for $99.97 and this one retailed for $40 when it was on the shelf. So this has more than doubled. This is actually two and a half times the retail price at this point. And if you bought it for that $40 retail price and sold it today for a hundred bucks, you after fees, you will be making around $45, more than doubling your money for a return on investment of 112%. Moving on now and let's just take one more theme and let's look at Minecraft. Everybody knows that I'm a big fan of investing in Lego Minecraft. So this is the chicken coop. This is 21140, retired in 2020. And this one is currently selling for $42 here on Amazon at the buy box. This set retail for $20. So if you bought it for 20 and sold it for 42, you would be making a profit of around $16 after you've paid your selling fees, which will be a return on investment of 78% on the chicken coop and then as the last example this is from minecraft also and this one is lego minecraft the skull arena 21145 currently selling at the buy box on amazon for 49 dollars and 95 and this one also was a 20 dollars retail price so if you bought it for 20 sold it for 50 today on amazon then you'll be making a profit of 22 dollars after you've paid your fees or a return on investment of 112 percent on the skull arena so overall what are some of my thoughts on looking through these examples well firstly i do gotta say that it has been a great year for appreciation on lego sets in 2020 lego sets grew in value quite a lot and of course that is driven by extremely high demand and increasing demand because lego group are investing heavily in marketing to new audiences such as adults and expanding into new countries and all sorts of other things interest in lego overall has grown significantly in the last couple of years driven by a lot of factors but the fact that people are still stuck at home looking for indoor hobbies of course is still a big contributing factor to lego growing in value so quickly so if any of you out there are skeptical about the world of lego investing and you think that maybe there's too many lego investors this is 
saturated there's too many people joining the facebook groups and different things like that i hope this helps you to see that there is tons and tons of opportunity with lego investing sets that retired just a year ago are doubling in price right now that does not point to a saturated market that does not point to oversupply that points to the opposite that shows us that there is not enough supply to meet the demand which drives up prices substantially over the course of just a year after retirement but again this is just a sample of sets so to make a market level decision we would look, need to look at a lot more data as to what's going on in the world of lego investing and as to these sets that we looked at here we did see some interesting findings here of course again i didn't look at every set in each theme so we can't really make full decisions on which themes perform better than others and all of those kind of things but it was interesting to see some of the trends here for example we saw that lego ideas underperformed some of the other themes the steamboat willie and flintstone sets are some of the poorer performers on this list interestingly Harry Potter was actually the best performing theme on this list with an average of 98% return on investment between the two sets that we looked at. Of course, that is skewed up a little bit because I chose Quidditch Match as one of those sets that I looked at and that set is performing exceptionally well right now because of that lack of supply in the aftermarket. So looking at averages with just two sets is not really a good way to think about things because of course, if one of the sets was an underperformer like the Tant of Four for Star Wars or one of them was an overperformer like the Quidditch Match for Harry Potter, it can skew those averages up and down so it's not really a great way to choose between different themes and we need to look at a lot more data before doing that but that said it was definitely interesting to see how some of these sets can appreciate in value and some of them have doubled in price and some of them have done a lot better than others i definitely think that there were some really good insights in there now if you started investing in lego last year in 2020 and you bought some of these sets how have they performed for you have you sold them already what kind of returns did you see let us know in the comments below or if you are brand new to lego investing or you're exploring Exploring this world. What sets are you considering buying right now? Let us know in the comments below. I love to have the discussion with you all. And again, if you want to know what sets are retiring right now and what sets are going to be retiring in the next couple of years, get the list in the description down below of retiring sets. That will definitely help you to think through what are some of the opportunities that are out there. And with that, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're not already and hit that notification bell so you can see the next time I post a video. Once again, I'm Shane from BrickBucks.net. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.